Hi folks and welcome back to the River Foss Fishing YouTube channel. Tomorrow I'm going to be making a really long drive all the way south to where I'm going to be working away for about a week. Very fortunately this is close to a couple of rivers that have produced absolutely quality roach. So obviously I'm going to take a rod and we're going to have a little bit of a fish trying to target some big roach specifically. Roach fishing in general is not something I do a lot of on this channel, but whenever I catch a big roach I always wonder why I don't do it quite so often. To help me do this, I've actually acquired a new rod, and this is a rigged and ready travel float rod. So this comes in an 11 and 13 foot configuration, so you can choose between either. It's a really nice compact design with a nice travel case. So this is just gonna sit in the boot of my car until I'm ready for those opportunistic sessions. It's just much easier to transport than my two piece 13 foot rods that have to slide through my whole car. So hopefully we'll get out for a couple of sessions and we will get into some really nice roach. I think that's probably enough chat for now. I've got quite a bit of packing still to do and a very long drive. So we'll catch up when I'm down on the riverbank. Well, we're out here doing something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm standing right in the middle of the river in my waders, just putting on some bait, and uh, I thought I'd talk you through what I've been up to. So this morning, I actually came down to this river, which is one that is brand new for me. I've never fished here before. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty keen to get down here because it is uh, a little bit notorious for some big roach and that is something that has been lacking from my life recently. So I'm very keen to get out here, have a little bit of a fish and try and catch some of the big roach that uh, live here. I came up this morning, did a bit of a recce in some absolutely atrocious conditions. I got absolutely drenched and to be honest, if I wasn't wearing waders, I probably would have packed in and gone home because yeah, it was wet, it was cold, it was miserable. Anyway, I caught some absolutely brilliant fish, but unfortunately my SD card corrupted and I lost all of that footage. Fortunately, and the silver line to this, is it corrupted before I had released the two nice roach that I caught this morning. So I got a little bit of footage of them on my phone. Anyway, fast forward a few hours, I've gone away, had some meetings, things like that, and I'm back out here now in the afternoon, and we're gonna fish through into the evening. I found some nice spots, so we're gonna run this float through. We've got bread on the hook. We're gonna feed bread. I've got a little bit of corn as well, and uh, we're gonna see if we can continue with some more nice roach. Let's hope we get a really big one. I think my biggest so far is over a pound, so we're looking for something a little bit bigger than that. Although I have no scales with me, which is not necessarily a problem, um, because when we hit a big roach, I'm sure we'll know about it. Let's get fishing. We're in, feels like a nice fish, possibly a roach. Or a grayling maybe? No, that's a roach, good one. Really nice one. I'll walk back slowly, try and get my net. And keep this fish hooked up. Where is it? Typically not ready. <laughs> Stream and hopefully just let it go into the net. Whoa! Yeah, there we go. And it's in. Ooh, nice. Really nice. Great fish. Well, I've just had a roach that was an absolute stonker. I'm gonna keep fishing and we'll see if we can put a little bit of a net together. Maybe get a couple out of this swim. Quite by luck rather than judgement, I seem to have stumbled into a really productive swim. Over the space of about an hour, I kept feeding bread and 
every few trots down, I had another bite. This produced a string of absolutely phenomenal roach. I would have been happy with any single one of these from the waters I usually fish, but put all together constituted one of the best days roach fishing I'd ever had. The average stamp of fish was phenomenal and I was absolutely blown away by the stunning quality of these roach. Wow, incredible, absolutely incredible. Let me talk you through the baits I'm using. So basically, we've just got good old bread and um, unfortunately I've got no blender or anything like that so I can't make any bread crumb. So what I'm just doing is I'm peeling off the crust and this crust I'm just dipping in the water, saturating, mushing up in my hand and then I'm throwing it in to act as kind of like a mushy ground bait I suppose that breaks apart as it floats down and then just ripping off a tiny piece of bread to stick on this hook to float down amongst it all and that is as simple as it gets really. Like I say I've got some corn and I'm just feeding four or five little kernels of corn at a time but um, when I've tried it on the hook I've had absolutely nothing at all and that is bait, that's it and it's doing the bites I will tell you that. After taking a brief pause at around the hour mark to talk through the baits, I started fishing again and instantly noticed a change in the kind of fish I was catching. I'd only caught roach up until this point, but some big dace had moved in and started to take over. And when I say big dace, these were absolute lunkers. They were taking the big pieces of bread flake that I was putting on the hook meant for the large roach. After catching a few days of specimen size, I decided to pull the net in and have a look at what I'd caught. Well, a couple of hours just trotting float bread and corn through has landed me four quality days, all of which are specimen size, and then one, two, three, four, five, six brilliant roach. Absolutely incredible. I'm a little bit stunned if I'm honest. Let's get the biggest roach and the biggest ace out to have a look and uh, we'll have a quick look at them all as we slip them back. I think this one is the biggest roach and uh, it's an absolute beaut. Pound just over maybe? So very happy with that one indeed. The biggest ace. These dace are slippery slippery fish and there it is. A lovely big dace. Quality quality fish. Let's get them all back in the river. Well, literally, how brilliant is that? Some absolutely magnificent fish there, um, all returned safely. I don't know whether to keep fishing this swim or whether to just walk up. There's another big willow tree there uh, hanging over the river, which looks always good for a trot. I think we might move up a little bit. We can always return to this swim. It's getting towards sundown, which is obviously when the big roach come out to play. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's see what we can do. So we've dropped into a new swim. It's just a really straight area that's a little bit deeper. Um, it comes down from a fork just upstream, so there's a good flow pushing through and it actually heads straight to a willow, but uh, we're not probably gonna trot that far. Um, I think we'll probably hit weed and stuff like that beforehand. Anyway, same tactic as always. We'll get some bread in, we'll get some corn in, and we'll have a few trots down. Well, we're in. And it actually feels like a little bit of a lump. But I'm not sure that it's just going through all the weed as well. Yeah, we're going to go down and see if we can pick it up. Because this is not coming in. Oh, there we go. I think it's on some weed. Ow, stinging nettles in the hand. Well, we've got the net, so let's net it. 
There we go. Nice fish, that. Another brilliant roach, actually. Well, I was actually pretty skeptical about this swim, but there we go. Another nice roach. Let's get this one back in the water. With the first roach from this swim under my belt, I kept fishing as the sun dipped down behind the trees. I introduced some more bait and was quickly rewarded with a second and third fish. I slipped these back with no fuss, and as it got darker, I decided another move might be in order. Well, we had three nice roach from that swim, but uh, just before the light fades completely, I'm gonna head back and have another couple of trots through the swim where I caught all of those fish. Um, I think that'll be a good place to finish up after it's rested. We'll get a little bit more bait in and we'll see if that'll produce another couple of bites before it gets too dark and we have to stop fishing. Back in my original swim where I'd started earlier that day, I picked up where I'd left off. I fed some bread and instantly had a very nice roach. A short time later, I had another absolutely clonking dace. Unfortunately, the fading light meant I had to pack away all too soon. Well, it got very, very dark very quickly under those trees where I was fishing, so I've had to walk out into a clearer area where there's just enough light. Um, absolutely brilliant days fishing. Could not have asked for more, really. Um, some smashing roach. So many, I've actually lost count of how many fish I landed. Brilliant big dace, absolutely incredible. I was really disappointed when I corrupted that SD card earlier and lost a lot of footage, but I'm a little bit happier about it now. It's slightly bearable and have been soothed by the capture of some fantastic, fantastic roach. I really hope I get another afternoon down here or a similar river in this area where we can target some more roach and some big chub that I've actually seen while I've been out on a walk. Anyway, until next time. Over the next few days, some incredibly poor weather, interspersed with working, dampened the fishing enthusiasm. When finally the weather turned back sunny, I managed to get out to see some of the local prehistoric monuments and do some sightseeing. It wasn't long until my attention turned back to the fishing, however. I was fortunate to be staying close to a branch of one of the rivers I wanted to fish, and conditions started to look ideal. Well, I'm just walking along the path for another new river that I'm gonna to fish tonight. I actually came and did a bit of a recce down here a couple of nights ago and spotted a few really nice chub right on the surface. I've just walked past that swim and there's nothing there now, but we're certainly gonna drop back in a little while and fish that one on our way back to the car. This is really gonna suit a roving approach as there's no swim that says set up and wait and a lot of swims that look pretty good for a bite. So we'll try and fish as much of this as possible when walking back. Well, this is it. This is where I have decided to fish and we're gonna be using pretty much exactly the same tactics as last time. Bread, we've got some in the river already. So I'm gonna attach this to my hook and we'll have a little trot down. I just threw in a nice big handful of bread and there was actually quite a large fish I saw come out and take it. Did not see what kind of fish but I'm just trotting down now. Yeah there we go we're in. Amazing. Literally amazing. I think that might be a roach. Yeah it's a roach. It's a nice one. Definitely net worthy. Try and get it in. Whoa. There we go. Bit of a fast, but we're in. Brilliant. First fish, amazing. Second trot down, and there we have it. A really solid start to today's session. Absolutely incredible, these roach. Look at it, just look at the size of it. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal.
Well, we just got that roach slip back and we're now pretty much ready for our next cast. Already baited up, a couple more handfuls of bread in. Let's see what else we can get out. Yeah, we're in again. This feels like something a little more interesting, but it might just be a roach. Yep, it is a roach. Wow, I thought that was going to be a trout. Let's uh, get this one in. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Well then, the second fish was another good roach there. Not quite as big as that first one, but yeah, a fair, fair old fish. We'll get this one back, and then I'm actually gonna move swims. We've not had anything for a few trots through now. Well, I've been fishing the swim where I saw those chubs basking on the top and had absolutely no luck, so there you go. I'm gonna move on. I don't think with the fading light there's any point in persevering anymore in this swim. next trot we got one roach smaller one than usual if that's possible still a good fish though wow yeah nice fish there's loads of trees above me which is making this slightly more difficult than it needs to be there it is i'll just hand this one actually yeah perfect well i'm fishing in a little bit of a jungle and we managed a nice small one there Absolutely brilliant, thin, perfect fish, incredible. Well, I've had another smaller roach there, relatively smaller. So I'm just gonna let this one go back and then uh, we'll move swims. Well, it's getting to that time when we're nearly thinking about packing up. We are losing the light pretty quickly. But I've still got time for a couple more trots through at least. So uh, I'm just trying to get rigged up quickly in a new spot. Get this little bit of bread on. I've already thrown in a couple of handfuls of bread over on the far bank. Where there's a really nice overhanging willow tree. Which looks absolutely spot on for a bite if I'm perfectly honest. So yeah, we'll trot this through. Fingers crossed. As always, I tried to kickstart things by throwing in some mushed up bread. The action was almost instant, with a few nice roach coming thick and fast. It really was one a chuck as we approached the coveted twilight fishing zone. Well, it's getting a little bit dark and I'm fishing this deeper pool and another nice roach. Absolutely mega. I'm not sure how long we're going to have left but um, I'm gonna keep fishing until I stop pulling out these amazing fish. Look at it, beautiful. Let's get it back in the water. It sounds mad to say it, but the fishing was so good, I slipped back many a quality roach without any fuss. In any other waterway, these would have been worth a second and even third look, showing them all to the camera. Well, we're back in the car uh, now after an absolutely brilliant couple of hours fishing, landing a lot of very nice roach. I'm uncertain if I will get the opportunity to come back and fish again. I'm hoping I will be able to nip down tomorrow. The weather looks absolutely awful, so uh, I've got a little bit of work to do in the morning as well. So we'll just have to see what that day brings. Either way, I am very happy. These roach are phenomenal. Anyway, We'll catch up very soon. So as you can probably tell, I just didn't make it down for another session. Unfortunately, we had some really, really poor weather and then all too soon, it was time to head back up to Yorkshire. But the quality of roach fishing over a couple of sessions was absolutely amazing. And I think it will be quite some time until I find any roach fishing quite that good again. So I really hope you've enjoyed this episode nearly as much as I enjoyed making it. Please do all the usual YouTube things, go down below, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. 
Also, if you think you might know someone else who would enjoy this video or any of my videos, please share them with them and invite them to join the River Foss Fishing community. Thanks for watching again. As always, hope to see you in the next episode.